Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and today I'm going to be taking you to float in New Braunfels, Texas at Whitewater Tubing. This is a non-can ban river, so you can take cans and disposable items except for styrofoam and glass. But yay, it's a much easier float when it's not can ban. I'm going to be taking you from start to finish, paying, parking, getting off the river, all of that stuff. And um, remember that this is not a video of tips of what to take and um, how to do the river and things like that. This is more of a how this particular tubing company works. If you've never been to the river and you are not sure what to take and um, want to be prepared, then make sure you watch my other video. I will link it down below and I will also clip it here. This is where you pay and sign your waiver. You stay in your car and each person has to sign. They will give you a wristband and at the moment it is $40 a car. Okay, so you park and then we get our sunscreen on, switch out our shoes and get all of our things ready to walk over to the bus. So the bus takes you to the beginning of the float and you will end up back at the parking lot. This is called the horseshoe option. This is only a two hour to two and a half hour float, um, depending on obviously if you pull over or not. And that was the only option this particular day that we went, but we were just able to go twice and it was a really nice long float doing it two times in a row load our things and then we give our tubes to the employees and they actually blow them up for you so that's kind of nice something else to keep in mind is that their air blower is very strong and so it almost busts through this inner layer of your inner tube cap it kind of messes it up so just keep that in mind at the end of the day it's really not a big deal to mention if you want to rent the tubes they do have them there for you for a higher price so this river really is such a pretty river to go float at it's it's a lot more calmer than like San Marcos, but so down here, that's our paddle. <laughs> so down here, you just walk down these lovely stairs and you get in right here. And this water is very, very cold. It is colder than Sa the San Marcos river. Um, but yeah, so you just get on, attach, um, start floating. And there are a, a couple places to pull over just like these big rocks. And so we pulled over there a couple of times and that was really nice. On the horseshoe in particular, uh, there really isn't any tube shoots, but there are rapids, especially right now because of how low the water is. We haven't gotten a whole lot of rain. So just keep that in mind that towards the end of the float, there are some rocky rapids. So just be careful with your hiney and with your tubes. So you know you're at the end whenever you see this big red sign that says end of horseshoe. And then you can either hang out here across the way for a bit if you're not trying to go again. Or you can come up this ramp and then you walk through the gravel. And this is where you either go back to the shuttle to go ride the horseshoe again. Or you can walk to your car. Stay tuned out. I will be making another video on comparing floating companies and the rivers in San Marcos and New Braunfels. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you had a great time with us in New Braunfels. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!